everybody. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> My plug was underneath and I was just like plugging on the light and all that. Hi, everybody. I am Kara Lockwood. Kara's Color Me Creative. I can be found on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, wherever you want to look. Kara's Color Me Creative or Kara Lockwood. I am an artist, a furniture artist. I'm a teacher and a creative life coach. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my process of how I design and put art on furniture. So today I'm just going to show you my design process and what I do to kind of get an idea of what I might want to put on furniture. And then if you want to see the, the actual me putting this design on furniture, you're going to have to tune in because that will come later. Um, probably tomorrow. So the piece of furniture that I'm designing is over here, back in the back, over on that side of my studio. I'm in my kind of drawing, drawing side of my studio. So if you come on, um, I'm on Facebook and I'm on YouTube today. So please let me know where you're watching from. And I'm gonna try to pull myself up so I can see comments. There we are and I can talk to you all. So just let me know where you're coming from, what's your name, where you live, uh, all that stuff, okay? So I'm gonna get started. So I have this big dresser that I just showed you over there. So if you wanna see it again, just watch the replay or come, you know, tune in. Hi, Stephanie, hi, Lonnie. Um, Lonnie, Kara's Cruz in the house. Um, if somebody comes on here and they put the hashtag Kara's Crew, that's because they are a member of my creative group, which is um, Artists in the Making, Color Me Creative Artists in the Making. And we do all sorts of tutorials, art tutorials, um, creativity. Um, we explore all different mediums and we have retreats. So you might want to join. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really great community of women and, and Lonnie is one of them. So, and I love her to pieces. Um, okay. So I'm going to get started. So I've got this big dresser. It's kind of a Victorian, um, type of, or not, not, not Victorian, um, French provincial type of dresser, not an expensive dresser, not worth anything, but has really, really pretty bones. Hi, Patty. Thank you for coming on. Welcome from Chicago. I used to live in Indianapolis. So I know Chicago very well. And I'm going to paint art on the dresser. So, you know, I, I was trying to figure out what to do with it, what finish to put on it, what I want to paint on it, and I want to paint art on it. I was going to just do a finish, you know, and make it real pretty, but this is just not me. I got to put art on it. It's a blank canvas. So I'm going to just show you, I'm going to put the camera down and show you my process. And if you want to see more of these processes, I have a class called Dots, Doodles, and Daisies where I actually teach you how to doodle. I teach you how to, you know, make these cool flower designs that are real graphic and teach you how to paint them big, right? Um, so I do have a class on my website, which is Kara's Color Me Creative .com. Okay, so I'm going to pull the camera all the way down and I'm going to try to make sure I've got a good view of what we got going on here and I can get this I got a new tripod so I can get this pretty close so I think that looks pretty good so you can see that I drew my dresser this is my dresser um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to outline it so when I put this marker on that you will see I maybe want to try no I'll do this one so we'll still be able to see where these lines are and so I'm just using a Posca pen. I mean, sometimes I do this in, uh, you know, in pencil, watercolor pencil or colored pencils. Really, you can do it in, you know, however you want. But I think it's really fun to get an idea of, you know, and I try to make this as close to the right dimensions. Of course, it's, wonk it's wonka do. But so, yeah, see, that's wonka do. But I, I want to put this black on here so hopefully I can see it through because the dresser is going to be dark, dark blue as a base. It already is. Um, so when I put the blue on here before I paint the design on here, I want to kind of see. Okay. So it's just a rough, a rough rendering. Okay. So I'm going to take these fat, fat, fat Posca markers. Hello, Michelle. Bonsoir. Hi, Missy. Hi, Carmen. Thanks for coming in, guys. 
Hi, Shelly. How's everybody doing? Hi, Tracy. Hi, Nancy. Hi, the Vintage Zinnia. Hi, Marsha. All these people in there, um, in here. How is everybody doing? Is your weather as beautiful as ours? It's warm here today, but it's like fall warm because it's breezy. Um, see, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see that black underneath here, but I just want to get this blue on because, and this isn't even as dark as the blue is, but I just want an idea of you know, what my design is going to look like on this dresser. So I'll probably have, oh no, I can see the black. I can see it through there. It's showing just a little bit, which is all we want. Okay, so I'm just going to get this on. And then we're going to start designing it. So it has nine drawers and it's Victorian. Oh, why do I keep on saying Victorian? It's French provincial. I think I keep saying that because my mother-in-law was here and she was calling all the houses Victorian, which a lot of them are here. Okay. A little wonky, okay. I'm not really worried about all this being perfect. That's the artist in me, right? I'm the kind of artist that I don't like things that take a long time. So clearly, you know, I'm not going to like to do still life. Um, I, I, I don't like my things to look really realistic because, right, it's going to show everything that I cannot do well. And boy, that's not why I do art. I do art for a fun release. And so if I, if I come out of it thinking... I mean, of course, I like to improve my art and learn and do things. And, and it's changed over the years. But I like to learn things. And as soon as I learn something, as soon as I learn something, and the girls in my group can attest to this, I like to teach it. Even if I'm not, like, so great at it, I like to teach it. Fall leaves are falling in Nova Scotia. I love the word Nova Scotia. <laughs> I had a friend whose mom, when I was growing up, whose mom was from Nova Scotia. And since I was a little girl, I, I'd be like, Nova Scotia. I love it. All right, so we're going to let that dry. So you can see the lines, but I'll just draw them in again for you all. Do you guys like my new my new um, tripod? It comes really close, and I can even get it closer if we want. And I and I might do that for y'all. Get it even closer. That would be fun, right? Okay. So there's there here's the drawers. We have nine drawers. The shorter ones in the middle. The longer ones here. Okay. Now there's not going to be black on that dresser, but that's just to kind of show me, right? What I've got. What I've got going on here. Okay. So I started doing this live. I started kind of, um, I would love to come visit. Hi, Christine. I started um, kind of designing this dresser live while I was painting it. And I thought, oh no, I, I better like take it back a notch and really, really think about this. And so I wanna do it. It's a little bit like my art and a little bit inspired by Chloe um, Kempster, who is a, a daydream apothecary um, retailer. But see, I'm gonna go right over where the drawers, you know, where the drawers meet. And, um, and this painting it like this is gonna help me. Okay, so I want like these really loose flowers. Okay, so that's gonna go over onto the top right there. And then maybe a couple real big ones that are real loose over here. Okay, so see, now that looks just so sporadic to me, like, woo, it's all, and, and sometimes if I'm painting live or if I'm doing this live, I'll get stuck with that. I'm like, ooh, it looks too placed, right? And so I'm going to go, okay, now I need to put some stuff in here, right? So okay, 
Okay, and, and maybe I'm gonna move some stuff and these are gonna be like this. See, so that's going to go around the edge right there. And I'm just going to get some more flowers in here. And maybe a big one right here too. Okay. Um, let's see. And then, okay, and maybe I, I don't, I don't think I'm going to want anything on the top, um, but I am going to want it wrapping around the sides, okay? So now I'm just going to, this is where it's just, this is the fun part. I know I'm going to want this very colorful, but this is where I just like, okay, I, I paint like this all the time where it's just very, very loose, but Chloe did this thing and I loved it where paint was just dropped in and these like, and I'm going to outline this with white and black on my piece. I'm just going to leave the tops off here because we're going to want to get a lot of color on here. Oh no, my red's not ready. I don't use red a lot in my art, so there's that. Okay, but do you see where I'm going at with this? This is gonna be just very loose. And the way you see it on here is kind of, you know, well, we'll just keep on going with it. Hey, and while I'm here, if you're on Facebook and if you do go on YouTube, please go to my YouTube channel. I, I, did a, I did a lot on my YouTube channel years ago and I haven't done anything lately. And I'm really, um, I'm wanting to get back at that and use that platform a little bit. I'll still be on Facebook. That's where Facebook is very good to me. But I just recently decided that um, Instagram is not good to me, so I'm done. I'm done, 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 done with Instagram. I'm not going to spend my time on a platform that doesn't give me love back, you know, and I, I've tried to figure it out a thousand times, but the exact same posts that I put up on Facebook and Instagram, they do great on Facebook and really bad on Instagram. Where's my yellow? Oh, here it is. Isn't this cool, you guys? It's going to be so happy. It's going to be even more dramatic because the cut. Oh, look at the look at that yellow. You know, you always if Michelle O is on here, she will laugh at me saying you always need yellow. My relationship with yellow has come full throttle. Okay, and then I just might add some, you know, just stuff. It's gonna be so fun. I'm so excited to do this. Cute. And always some extra white, always, always, always. Oh no, I hate it when I get a color on my white marker. That is just a disaster. I'll wait till that's dry to do that. Okay. But that's kind of, oh, we got to get the green on. This is kind of my process. I have several pictures of, um, oh, I'll show you some of my, some of my, um, best laid plans. 
how's that? I'll, I'll pull out my book and I'll show you some of my best plans. Look at how that green makes it pop. I mean, green, green, green. So, okay. So it's going to be something like that. You're going to be able to see that. We will be working on it this week, probably starting tomorrow. So this is one of my many books, but these were all designs on furniture. So this was when I was doing the dot doodles and daisies classes. I was um, doing this. And so I was for a while and I did this at one of the big events, right? This one. And for a while I was super excited about uh, mid-century modern furniture. And I was putting these designs on the front of mid-century modern furniture. Um, you know, some of these did never made it. Of course, I'm not putting these on furniture. These are just things I do. Um, some of those never made it to furniture, but they were ideas for furniture. There's more in here. Oh, this is the one. No, that's one I started for a class, but I didn't finish it. But if you want to, um, if you want to learn how to do like dots, doodles, and daisies, that's this style. And I kind of show you how to sketch out and, and how to make your doodles look more professional, then go on my website. It's there, it's a class and it's been, you know, I've had it for years, but it's all this style of stuff. And this stuff is so fun to put on furniture. So, so, so fun, yeah. So, all right guys birdies on kids furniture. Oh, the birdies on kids furniture would be so fun, Christine. How about some ideas for fall art fair? I'm stumped. Should I take my art from a year ago? Um, I am not like, a, I'm not a huge fan. Well, I shouldn't say I'm not a huge fan. I love all art, but I don't do a lot of holiday art, Veronica. Um, but you know, I mean, just, I would go on Pinterest and say fall art ideas, right? Or is it even easy fall art ideas and Pinterest is, you know, gives you all sorts of ideas of what you could do. Okay. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. And please remember if you have not gone to my YouTube channel. I would appreciate that you do that. I am trying to get that going again and this video will be on there. So I would appreciate that. That would be giving me a huge favor. All right. I appreciate you all. My cap, this belonged to my dad. He's been gone for almost 20 years and I wear it every single fall. Um, it's from Ireland and they got it in Ireland. <laughs> Ahead. Um, but yeah, I, always, I I'm so happy when I wear my dad's hat. Thank you. All right, you guys. Mwah. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Bye.